I love, love, love exploring in this game. It's so much fun. The Corel area, the Junon area, the grasslands, everywhere has been really awesome. I especially liked the focus on Barrett in some of these scenes and dialogue. We had some great characterization. It's always great to hear his voice actor. And I'm glad that Barrett is getting a lot of love and attention in this remake. Today we're going to start our episode by visiting Johnny. Let's do it. What a charm. I wonder how long it's been here. A relic from Costa del Sol's time as a fishing village, perhaps? Customer? I hope you're getting customers, Johnny. I really do. Hey, perfect timing, bro. I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is. Hey. You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Materials? Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So, yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. I actually uh... don't. <laughs> Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just going to confuse them. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot! Oh, How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. What the uh, fuck is happening? See what I have to deal with? Yeah, are they twins? I can't handle two Johnnies. One is enough. You have a twin? <sighs> it's true. Poor Yanni and I were separated at birth when he was ripped from our mother's arms. The creatures that stole him brought him up in the wild as one of their own, and... No, oh, he's not my twin! This wouldn't have anything to do with me. Using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean... I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. What? But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. This is a, a problem. Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro! I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. Okay. What a charming inn. Well. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Over here. We should have stayed up there. Now this is the way to go. On Chocobo. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, God. 
This is a nightmare. Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one, one knows, knows me better than myself. And uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. We think you'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. Recover Having the our refurbishment bro materials. Like hundred of us, even better. Bro. Zero of eight. Johnny's in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. We'd be so scared we'd run before the fight began. Okay. Well, they must have come from this direction. This is gonna be tough with just us. Maybe I could make some clones of me and you to help out. That is a terrible idea. Uh, I think you meant to say it's a terrific idea. Come on. What it could be. What did I tell you? More fun. This looks like a job for a kitchen squad. How about we take a look over there? Over there. Oh my god, Yuffie, we're fighting right now! I'm busy! Busy! No! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Am I doing this right? Am I supposed to talk to Johnny again before I go look for the materials? They said they had to zip line down here. So they must have come from up here. to go from here. Okay. That's what, three? I guess we're looking for all the tops of all the zip lines. It's like having a hundred of us. Even better. <laughs> Throw a hundred Johnnies in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. We'd That's be so probably we'd true. Before the fight began. All right, I have your stupid stuff. So, you, you find, find anything, anything bro? bro? Please stop doing that. Yes. Whoa. Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible. You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kind of, sort of, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? 
Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi. It's a thing we do. <laughs> Cloud's like, I am definitely not getting paid enough for this shit. All right. Next Johnny's are over here. Hopefully what these Johnny's need are for me to like kill some monsters or something, you know? I'm pretty good at that. All right, what do you hey guys there, need? Bro. Hey, hey, bros. Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not me. me. So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? me. No, no way. You're, you're too, too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you talking shit about me? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler, but it turns out nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? I can do that. Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. I will you do just that. Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best. Where's that chip? Hey, see that? Where's light. that chip? Maybe metal? Time to put my sniffer to work. Wait, what does a chip smell like? There's a... Uh... Red, uh, red. Hey, Pete Sith on his little chocobo too. Well, on his big chocobo. All right, let's see. Let's start in here. All I'm saying is we find everything much faster if we cloned ourselves too. No. Just think, you could start a mercenary franchise. And I could even help you set up a branch in Wutai. Plus, Shimmer wouldn't stand a chance against a cloud army. You and your buster sword wielding buddies and hack them to bits. Yeah, right. Oh, come on. Just imagine. <laughs> Where is One this One cloud. Two clouds. Three clouds. Must be back four here. Four clouds. Uh, I know you aren't much of a talker. But <laughs> I figured at least one of you would say something. Not really digging this vibe. <laughs> I think I'm good with just one cloud. The one and only. Where? What? We don't need a chocobo, because we can... Isn't there supposed to be an exclamation point when I get close? I might already have it. Oh, wait a minute. valve oh i do have it oh good call soul blazer here x works the spot wait didn't we try digging there before come on trust me <laughs> here's your thing oh baby this is it that boiler is as good as fixed Hot, steamy showers in every room. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... Oh, God. There's one more. <sighs> one more. Where is he? Said he wanted to give the hotel royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Ah. Last we heard, he was desert bound. <laughs> Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us. Would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. All 
All right, well, Tonberry. That sounds a little bit scary. Would you miss Johnny's multiplying? Yeah, remember when like Yuffie made a bunch of clones of Johnny? When we were on the beach with Hojo? Uh, some of them are still around. <laughs> It's a whole thing. And now we're about to fight a Tonberry. Track down. Okay, I'm just gonna keep following this and see. See where it takes. Oh, there's a Johnny. There's a Johnny. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro. Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. I can with a buggy. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Fine. Just sit tight. We already know where to find the king. Just gotta pay him a visit. Oh, your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro. I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat. Are these Johnnies just gonna be here forever? Okay, so... So, Tonberry King is where? Oh, here. Ooh, what a cool arena. How do I get down there, though, is the question. Cloud, it appears that you've arrived at the lair of the Tonberry King. That crown belongs in a far statelier head than his, namely yours. I say it's high time we divest him of it. Come the fourth, O Tonberry King. Oh, you're going bigger down. than I thought he was going to be. First, the Tonberry King detected. Commencing guidance protocol. The time is now long past. Plus, how did they get us? Home to the kingdom of the Tonberry. I'll show you what I can do. It would not last. The humans came and brought with them death and destruction. Many Tonberries perished in the war. To prevent the king of who raised his kingdom, the Tonberry King swore upon his knight to hunt their descendants. Please bear in mind that this is all based on the fables of folklore. I will count on what Okay, I don't know what the fuck you're saying right now. No, I'm cheering for you. My, because I am scared out of my mind. Wait, wait, I wanted to assess him. All right, let's see. No weaknesses. Inflicting enough damage when its attacks miss will pressure it. When pressured, it will drop its pristine crown, leaving the item vulnerable to being stolen. Its special attack renders the target incapacitated and unable to be revived. Oh. Unable 
able to be revived? And the revival earrings? Is that gonna work here? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull in Tifa. Keep it together. So it's my turn? I got this. Not 
great. Shake it off, okay? <clears throat> Ooh, synergy. Wow! Copy. I'll show you what I can do. Can you take over for me? You up. Just a bit. I thought we were supposed to get more ATV. You got this on the switch. This one's for you. Oh no, we have unlimited. Oh, I did the other thing. Okay, steel crown. You're up. Here gets your cloud. Oh. 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 Pressured. I'm not gonna be able to use my unlimited. Let me handle this. One more shot. To revive everybody. Tagging out. I got this. Better. Whoa. There. Here goes. Get him. Cut. Just take a deep breath. You can go. I can fix this. God. That is so scary. That was fun. Tom Berries are interesting. No. My body cannot hold. Johnny. You took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So, where's the crown? Hand over the pristine one. Yes, we got a pristine one. I think that's pretty good. Whoa! Get a load of the shine on that baby! It is positively legendary! And we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you. Don't worry. The fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display. Man, I can't wait to see the look on my face when I see this! I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel. Be sure to swing by when you have the chance. I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you. Yeah, you better. All of you better. Oh, 
What a charm. What the? Look at all them soup. Johnnies hard at work. Now, if I could just get Yuffie to clone me, I could have one. I could have like a bunch of them editing videos, another one going to Panera, working five days a week. I'd be in pretty good shape. I think it's getting hotter. Kind of. Good news, bro. All of me made it back in one piece. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. Yeah, I fought a tonberry. Oh, Do you know how dangerous so, that is? What now? Rocky to Poofa? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I wanna be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. <laughs> right, Johnny's? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> so yeah, me and me's are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. Do we get to see the uh, finished look? Welcome, Welcome to Johnny Seaside in Remake! <laughs> wow! So. After that, is it going to be Johnny's Seaside in Rebirth? Wow. They actually have walls now. That's really great. So, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You're absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad either. I oh, don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You said it. We, we all want what's, what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. And, and none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for you, you. Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Johnny Prime? You are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry. You got this, Johnny. Johnny? You don't need <laughs> us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! <laughs> Johnny! Johnny! <laughs> this Johnny! is so incredibly dumb, but really great. You know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now... I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? Oh, what's in the You've chest, got a hotel Johnny? To run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. I owe it to <laughs> me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna be seven Johnnies in one! I think one of you's more than enough. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, almost forgot. I got a card? I set up a little the Johnny space squad, to show off your the collection. J squad? I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business. So look out, hotel industry. We'll attract guests from far and wide with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro. Cause when you're here, you're Johnny. So I wonder if that's the stuff uh, uh. that you can get from the gold saucer. Oh my God, there's so many things that we could get. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about that stuff at all. <laughs> Oh, the chest is tightly locked. What could be hidden inside? You need to get all of all 88 to open the chest. Johnny. Johnny. Okay. I, heard they got some I really, really I have to go, but. Okay, all, all of Tifa's gloves. Daryl said I could see in all the rooms. So we got Tifa's gloves. I 
Aerith stab staves. Uh, these are Yuffie's weapons. This is so cool. Oh, oh, these are suspiciously empty over here. Here's Barrett's gun arms. Are these all the ones I have? I don't think I have that many weapons for the characters, so... Rest? Oh, no, no, no. What about red? Doesn't he get something? Oh, look! There's our crown! Tomberry crown that we got. Johnny's collection isn't actually his. It's all his red stuff. Is red stuff gonna be in here? Oh, those, there's cloud weapons. Red's weapons. Does he have like feathers and things like that? Like a headdress kind of theme of Bobber? These are the ones from the remake. Oh! Makes sense. I remember that. That uh, nailed bat and everything. Okay. All right. Let's say I gotta go. I gotta go. So it looks like we got to go through here. Are we floating? Hey, up ahead. That our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. Where you be? <laughs> Gaga region. I think I'm gonna hurl. Bit overgrown for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure. That's. Uh huh. Cloud, you okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. Where are those dumb apples at? Are those dumb apples? They don't look like apples. Combat simulator. New quests are available in the Gungaga region. Oh, great. Remember when I said we were doing main story today? I meant we were doing like five minutes of main story and then we were gonna do side quests in Gungaga. <laughs> Yuffie, what you doing on the roof? <laughs> All right, I'll take me some mega potions and um, and we'll go. gonna be on the other side. Gaga? Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like this. Oh, we're in a jungle and we have new music. And it sounds cool so far. Jesus! Oh man. Alright, let's focus on like just going to our objective right now. So 
beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hey, Kate. What is it? If you're serious about wanting to be our new best friend, how about giving us some inside info? Well, if it's dirty laundry you're after. Yeah. I have heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. Oh, why did I'm I I'm not even sure if that's you? useful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, guys, I still need to go back to the box breaking minigame and get Tifa's that weapon for Tifa. Hey! Our first Gungaga bus stop. Chocobo stop. Choco stop. All right, little guy. Here's your reward for leading me to the stop. Oh. This this is so pleasant. It's and especially coming from the desert. This is a very like stark contrast in in scenery. The green the trees, the water. And the reason that the Corel area is so desertified, as they call it, is because of the reactor that Shinra put. And I wonder if all of the Corel region would look something like this if it hadn't been destroyed, the environment destroyed by by Shinra's reactor. So, I know you've been ratting on us to Shinra. Telling him where we are, you furry fraud. Guilty. I knew this cat had two faces. Ah, come on now. I'm only pulling your leg. Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed that bigger was always better. The small went against his philosophy. Knew him well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Pretty sure. Hi. Might wanna check. <laughs> yeah, this uh this kitty cat is two-faced, Yuffie. You are quite correct about that. Corgan's farm. Go on, get. Don't make me chase you off my property now. I just want to look around. I just want to look around. Yuffie, stop foreshadowing, <laughs> right? <laughs> Spoilers. Ooh. Materia? I need a chocobo? Cloud, that forest chocobos use mushrooms as There's forest chocobos. There's forest chocobos. Come along. The village of Gongaga awaits. It's about time. We're freaking starving. <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. What's our lucky food? Look at this place! Are these? They are! Gungaga mushrooms! Are they yummy? They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here? Here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Who's this? You. 
me? What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Oh. 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 <laughs> the music! Who are you people? I. You'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? <laughs> we shh. Well then. Oh. Welcome to Gungaga. Thank you. I'm Sisne, Coalition Captain. Oh, that's Sisne! <laughs> and sorry, I didn't mean her. to startle you before. What? Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am. Ma You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course. <laughs> Come on. This music brings up all the emotions. Ah! <sighs> so good. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. Yes, let's. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. <laughs> this was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! <sighs> I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. Seriously, get some rest, okay? You know, I I legit forgot that like Gungaga was a thing. You know? <sighs> that Sisney Lassie was right, you know. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. But instead, they look the other way. Willful negligence killed those people, and everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. Aerith hasn't been herself since we got here, has she? Wonder why. Does she know the place? Stop. Stop. Today, I'm going to teach you about an important part of our history. About the terrible accident that forever changed Gungaga and her people. I'm sure all of you know about our Mako reactor. Okay! Okay, look. When it was being built and afterwards we kept our distance. I don't want to do any conversations with Red or Tifa right now that are going to deepen our relationship with them. 
And I think this is one of those. So... Goodness. What do you guys want to do? Main story? Let's look around the village. You guys what, just want to see the sights, do all the queen's blood, do all the things? I'm down for that. There's a quest here that can gain you points with Aerith so you can talk to everyone. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just, you know, want to be extra careful. Extra careful with Red and Tifa right now. It's important to me, okay, that I go on my date at the Gold Saucer with Aerith and if I have to be like extra strict about it and do unnecessary things to make sure that that's going to happen, then I will. I could save, talk to them and reload. Oh, best of both worlds. Okay. You're a very smart soul blazer. <laughs> you're a very smart guy. Okay, where was red? Like, I'll probably be fine to talk to like Barrett and Yuffie because they're not like the blue uh, smiley face. They're like still green. Um, but yeah. Tifa and Red a little too close for comfort. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? Which is the Gungaga mushroom? Well, these ones look different from these two, so maybe this? One's on the left. Anyone with eyes can see that. So, you've a death wish. I must say <laughs> that's troubling to learn. A word of advice, Cloud. Do not, under any circumstances, consume wild mushrooms. Thanks. I'll, I'll try not to. <laughs> what? Oh, it was hard to see. It's the middle ones, isn't it? Because they're purple. From this angle, it was hard to tell. These these looked the same as these, so I just assumed pick the odd one out. Good job picking the worst option. Yeah, I um. I definitely did that on purpose. <laughs> See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Oh man, I love me a rice pilaf. Pilaf, I guess. What's in that again? Well, <laughs> rice, bit of soup stock, and what else? <laughs> you know what? It's better if you just taste it. I'll make it for you sometime. These rooms? <laughs> okay. Are I don't think I did particularly good options there, but I'm still just going to load. Once things settle down, I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> 
just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. Um, mushrooms. Mm. Mushrooms. What? Cause it's our lucky food? Don't tell me you believe that mumbo jumbo. Still, you might be onto something. Gagaga mushroom farming sounds like a license to print here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the G1 springtime. <laughs> you pee? Oh, there. Or is that? Yeah, that's Yuffie. I am so, so bored. Bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, that y'all go insane. Cause I am so, so bored. Bored right out of my brain. Um. I'd love an encore. I'd love an encore, if that's cool. An encore? Normally, I charge an orb per song, but I'll make a special exception this time. Here goes. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, betcha I'll go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck here wasting time. Just wait, oh materia, I'll get back on the road and make you mine. Yay! I like how she did it to her, the tune of her song. Ooh, is this a Yuffie weapon? Bird of Prey. of yours come in please hmm? your eyes you're a soldier aren't you um was you wouldn't happen to know our son would you zach <laughs> are you all right fine what did you say his name was? Zack. Zack Fair. Zack? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. You were! <sighs> <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him and to please get in touch? Of course I will. They don't know. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> Here. Mm. 
Sorry. Every time someone says they're from Midgar, we can't help but hope that person knows our son. A couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a big city. All this talk of another war has me worried. But I know I'm not the only mother afraid for her son. Sorry. Every time a couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a big city. I love their... the... Uh, architecture of the houses. So neat. Like little igloos in the jungle. So they... I don't remember like specifics. But I guess... Shinra, like their official, um, message or whatever, or stance about Zack is like he's MIA. They couldn't even give their parents, his parents, closure that he was like killed in action or something. Hey. That wasn't very nice of me. What do you mean? You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's... A lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. You're too hard on yourself. You're too hard on yourself. Bet it was good for them to get it all out. I hope you're right. So, this Zack guy, you still like him? <laughs> wow. You went there, huh? Maybe. Don't lie, He's you do. never given me a reason not to. Mm-hmm. Nothing. No calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Oh, Cloud. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. It's complicated. another time oh boy that was that was tough that was so tough thought you were gonna rest so when it says your relationship has changed that could, like we don't know exactly what that means our little village is playing the things that I think I picked it a nice option compared to what the other ones seemed like, but 
Um, where's Sisney's place? Over here. But she didn't seem too happy about it. Ugh. Like, I'm guessing maybe it, it goes up, but it, depending on your answer, it could go up more or less. to game the system you could give me pointers in discord i'm i mean i'm yeah i'm full game in this i, I want to do whatever i can to make this happen with me and Aerith. so whatever you think it's safe to divulge go ahead in discord No, until it's time to leave oh this is progress the story yeah 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 okay <laughs> 